When we're adding decimals, we want to make sure that we add like terms. That means adding same place value to the other. Let's go ahead and define our terms. This time, the large cube will represent one. The flat will represent one tenth. The long will represent one hundredth. And the small cube will represent one thousandth. It would take 10 of these tenths to form one large cube. And it would take 100 of these hundredths to form one large cube. And it would take 1,000 of these small cubes stacked to form one large cube. Let's model our number. I'm going to use one large cube, three flats, four longs, and five of these small cubes. What's the value of this number? If you said one and 345 thousandths, you would be correct. By cutting the flats and the longs into small cubes, I would have 345 of these small cubes, and each of these cubes is a thousandth. My second number that I'll model, I'll use three longs and four small cubes. What's the value of this number? If you said 34 thousandths, you'd be correct. Because if I cut each of these hundredths into 10 thousandths, 10 thousandths, 20 thousandths, 30 of these thousandths, plus four, I would have 34 small cubes. I can write the traditional algorithm as saying, I have zero ones and 34 thousandths, Make sure you show that there's zero tenths because a tenth would be a flat and there are no flats. For my top number, I have one whole. I have three of my tenths. I have four of my hundredths and I have five of my thousandths. By lining up my decimals, I'm lining up my place values. And now I can go ahead and combine like terms. Four thousandths and five thousandths would be nine thousandths and three of these hundredths plus four of those hundredths would be seven hundredths i have three tenths don't forget your decimal to keep your place value straight and i have one whole i see one in 379 thousandths as my final sum